Well, how a game is scored and where a defense lines up, pretty common knowledge for every high school football player. Well, almost every football player. We take it for granted. Juan Diego had to teach the basics to one of their players, but as Brittany Copeland reports, it was worth the investment. Chinosi Opara came to the United States two years ago from Nigeria to play basketball, but he fell in love with another sport in the process. Yeah, he walked in my office. I didn't know who he was, and here's 6'9", 260. He said, I want to play football, and I said, great. You know, I can't coach height and size. A year into his football experiment at Juan Diego, Opara has gone from the JV squad to a starting defensive lineman on the varsity team. Well, my first year was tough, but thanks to the coaches, they broke it down for me so I could understand the game better, and that was that was helpful. The language barrier has been a bit of a challenge. You were like, what are you saying? I have to repeat myself like three times before you get what I'm trying to say. And he still has a lot to learn. You know, he's used to that round foot basketball, but... So he, he absolutely nothing has no idea, still has no idea about a lot of things. His height advantage was more than enough for Utah and BYU. Both schools offered him a scholarship to play football. In the end, he decided to go with the Cougars. I mean, I had a chance to go to the BYU camp during the summer, and they got a chance to see me and see what I could do, and that was how everything got in place. Opara's family hasn't been able to see his development in person. They are still in Nigeria, where football isn't very popular. So he sends his mother video clips to make sure she can follow all the hard-hitting action. I told my mom I was going to play football, and she was like, she's not sure. I told her about the game, and she, was, she wasn't sure about the game. But, like, I mean, everything is going well right now, and she decided I got an offer, and that's a big relief to her, too. It's been two years since he's seen his family. Opara hopes he can get them out to BYU for a game next season. For Game Night Live, I'm Brittany Copeland. Opara also plays varsity basketball for the Soaring Eagles, but it's football that he'll be pursuing at the next level for BYU. What an incredible story. Yeah, and if you're BYU, it sounds familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. A player from Africa that yeah, not familiar get... with the game of football comes along and... Where's he at now? NFL. Yeah. Doing all right. Yeah, good story, good journey.